Okay, we're going to find factors using factor rainbows. So I'm going to pick a number, let's say 12. Okay, and I want to find all the factors of 12, all the numbers that I can multiply together to get 12. So I'm going to start with the very first number that we usually start to count with. What is that number going to be? Okay, so I'm going to say 1 times, what do I multiply 1 times to get 12? 12. So 1 times 12, 1 times 12 gives me 12. Okay, what number comes after 1? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask myself before I write it down, does 2 times something give me 12? Okay, 2 times what gives me 12? Okay, so 2 times 6 gives me 12. Okay, 1 times 12 gave me 12. 2 times 12, I mean 2 times 6 gave me 12. What comes after 2? Three. So I'm going to ask myself before I write it down, does anything times 3 give me 12? Okay, yes. so I'm going to write 3 times 4. Okay, so 3 times 4 gives me 12. Then what comes after 3? And I have 4 listed already. Okay, so I have all of my factors for 12 in order from least to greatest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So all of these here are the factors of 12. Okay? So now I'm going to do this again with another number. Okay? So let's say uh, 25. There we go. 25. We always know that 1 is where we start, and 1 is a factor of every number, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to say 1 times what? 25 gives me 25. Okay, so 1 times 25 gives me 25. Then what comes after 1? Okay, so does 2 times anything give me 25? It ends with a 5. Is, it a, is this a multiple of 2? No. It is a multiple of 5, but let's get there first. You said 2? No. What about 3? I know 3 probably not because if I add 2 plus 5, what do I get? And 7 isn't a multiple of 3, so that means 25 is okay. Good. So what about 4? Definitely not 4 because what wasn't? Right, right. Two wasn't two wasn't one. Okay, so now I'm at five. You guys said five, right? So five times what gives me five? Five. Okay. Five times five. And I want you to see how I put that right there in the middle because I'm only going to write it one time. Y'all see that? Okay, so my multiple I mean my factors of five are I mean of twenty five are one five and 25. So all of these numbers here are factors of 25. Okay, let's do this once more. Okay, I want to do it one more time. Somebody give me a number. 18. Okay, let's do 18. All right, we know we're going to start with what, with what number? Okay, so here's the number 1. 1 times what is going to give me 18? All right, so 1 times 18 gives me 18, okay? What is the next number after 1? 2. 2. Is 18 an even number? Yes, yeah. yeah, so 2 times something's going to give me 18, right? 2 times what? 2 times what? 9. Good. 2 times 9 gives me 18, okay? Well, what comes after 2? Three. All right. I got. I can't remember. Let's see. I got to figure out if eighteen is a multiple of three. So what's the rule for multiples of three? So when I add these two numbers, what do I get? Nine. So nine is a multiple of three, isn't it? So eighteen is a multiple of three. So three times what? Three times six. Three times six gives me eighteen. 
There we go. And then what comes after three? Four. Is, is four times something going to give me 18? No. Four times. Let's see. Four times four is how much? 16. Four times five is? 20, so no. Okay. What about 5? No. Why not 5? It doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. So then after 5 comes 6, and I've already got 6. So I'm done listing my factors here. So my factors of 18 are 1, And these are all the factors of factors of 18.